Hey you, yeah, you right there, are watching this video right now. There's a link to my Discord down in the description below. Join that shit. It's fun. We're gonna be playing some Dragon Ball Fighter Z. We're gonna be playing some Monster Hunter Worlds. We're gonna be playing some Pokemon every once in a while. It's gonna be a good time, but you guys are gonna have to join that Discord group. Hey yo, what's wrong with you, Joe? It's your boy Carol. I had to say that out of the way. Before I forget, because I usually say that stuff at the very end of the video, and usually good people don't even watch the very end of the video, so. Had to get stuff right out of the way. We're here for another VGC 18 championship battle, whatever you want to call this shit. And we're using a new team, which I'm probably never going to use again because this team kind of sucks. But I might do revisions to it and then see what we can do. So right now, it's a team that's going to be using Charizard and Venusaur and Token Amaro. Because look at us, we're the Alolan trainer red right now. With Charizard Y, obviously. Venusaur, I'll be using the Sun from Zard Y. We have... Token Amaru, just so uh, my water type Pokemon that I don't bring into this battle isn't going to be affected, as well as Charizard doesn't have to worry about Tabu Cocos. And it's always nice to have fake out support. And then we have Assault that's Scrafty, because it just takes all those hits, gets the Intimidates off, fakes out, drain punches, and it can ice punch the Landorus's, drain punch those Kangaskhans, take all the special attacks it needs to. It's a very good Pokemon. So let's just jump into this battle. Hope you guys enjoy it. And my point is, it's a pretty cool team, but. Who cares about the opponent? We're here for me. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. We're, just, we're here to watch a video. We're here to uh, watch some VGC and see how we can grow as a VGC player. Because everyone knows that I'm not the best VGC player. I'm much better in singles. So that's why I've been using a lot of VGC teams so far this year. And I've only done one singles battle, I think, in this whole year. So regardless, Charizard, Tokenomaru, Tabu Koko, Volcarona, Electric Surge is going off. Which actually is pretty dang good for me because that means my uh, token murder can start zing zapping some bitches. So, turn one, I make a pretty bad mistake. I'm not even gonna lie, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt me too much in the end. So I do make evolve because we need to get that sun up. Which again, sun up being, is not the best because it is going to help Volcarona. So I need to make sure Volcarona gets out of there very very fast. The mistake I make here is faking out Tapu Coco because the thing is. Tabu Koko can't really damage my Pokemon right now because Togemaru has Lightning Rod, so the Thunderbolts and Gigabolt Havocs and Thunders won't actually affect my Charizard. So Charizard's kind of free to Heat Wave away, and the Volcarona can Quiver Dance up in the corner. So I just Bucky Shield right here because I'm very scared of that Volcarona. I don't want to get Flamethrowered. As the Tabu Koko uses Sky Drop, which is an interesting play because it does let Volcarona get a second Quiver Dance off, which is very, very scary. But Sky Drop actually won't affect Charizard because Charizard's a flying type Pokemon. So all it essentially did was stall a turn, which is definitely a good thing for my opponent because, again, Zard isn't going to be affected by it. But, like, Zard won't take any damage, but it will uh, effectively kill Zard's turn. So Scrafty comes out because Scrafty's the only Pokemon on my team right now that I have that can take that flamethrower coming in. Because obviously, a Venusaur's not taking. Uh, Plus two, Volcarona, Sun Boosted Flamethrower. For Scrafty Barely Token, that's a special defensive Assault Fest Scrafty. But even with plus two special defense, at that point, Vol uh, Volcarona's not taking a Charizard Y Heat uh, Flamethrower. I was going to say Heat Wave, but I use Heat Wave in the following turn when this is Mimikyu and Tapu Koko. As Scrafty's going to be able to fake out the Tapu Koko, make sure it doesn't sky drop anymore. And then we use that Zard Y Heat Wave, and oh my lord, Olanta. Tabu Koko just fucking falls. Oh, I just said a swear word. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to swear in my videos anymore. Don't want to get demonetized or anything like that. But uh, we PG-13 out here. We Disney, but I do swear sometimes. So I'm sorry about that. Beep that out of the video if you want. I don't really care. So, that Mimikyu did use Sources, which just makes it a threat. As Ninetales comes out and used to get the snow warning off. And I think my opponent misplays hugely right here. I don't think that's the right word for it, but... Makes a huge misplay. That's right. That's what I'm trying to say. As I switch into Token of Marks, I, do, I need my sun up. If my sun's not up, Venusaur can't do anything. So I need my sun. So now deals goes with the Encore right here, which does lock Scrafty into Fake Out. But I think my opponent definitely should have just went out and used Aurora Veil there because if he had extra bulk on his team, it would have made his battle a lot harder for him. So or a lot harder for me and a lot easier for him. So. Regardless, Shadow Claw just completely takes out Togedemaru, but that is perfectly okay because Togedemaru has done its job. As long as the Tabu Coco is gone, Togedemaru doesn't really need to play a role anymore. So, Zard Y comes back out, gets that Drought up. So, 
The sun is up. We are not in Canada anymore. There's no hail. There's no sleet. There's no snow. There's no slush. As Charizard's gonna use Protect right here, which is again misplay on my part because that Nuntails definitely just used Encore the other turn. So now, on the next turn, if you can't tell what I'm trying to say, is that he's gonna Encore my Charizard into Protect, and it's just gonna be no bueno. So. Again, Scrappy, I'm gonna switch out right now because I've been using Fake at the last couple of turns, hoping that the Encore would wear off. I want to get Venusaur in safely. I didn't want to switch in Venusaur on a, a potential plus two Shadow Claw or Blizzard, but I'm taking the chance right here because I just want to make sure everything goes off. Zard's gonna get Encore, which does very much suck. It's the Shadow Claw is gonna go into the Zard Y slot, which actually is better for me because as long as it's not Venusaur, Venusaur is very, very important right now. Is I'm going to re switch in to Scrafty, so I can get the Intimidate off on the Mimikyu, put Mimikyu down to plus one instead of plus two, and honestly, Scrafty's just looking like a nice Pokemon right now. Um, definitely can get Dazzling Gleam or Moonblasted by the Ninetales, but what my end goal right now is, is to get Venusaur and Charizard out on the same time, so Blizzard is going to connect, hits both my Pokemon despite it being in the sun, Scrafty is going to live, and Venusaur is also going to live as I do hit that Sleep Powder on Mimikyu, Mimikyu is now asleep, so, my plan right now is to use Fake Out on the Nine Tails. That way, I can break a potential Focus Sash and Sludge Bomb into it, which will easily take out because I am a modest Life Orb Venusaur. And now it's just a sleeping Mimikyu versus the world. Mimikyu's gonna wake up and use Sword Stance. I don't think that's the play at all. What my opponent definitely should have done right there is just Shadow Claw Venusaur to take it out and then try to Shadow Claw again into my Zard Y when it comes out next turn. But that, because I'm not sure how much damage I would have been able to do to Mimikyu, but if I would have been able to use do enough damage to a double team attack between Zard Y and Scrafty would have been able to take out Mimikyu, then I would have won there, but it probably would have been like a 1 to 2 0, -oh, as opposed to my opponent Source Dancing there, because the Source Dance with there didn't help my opponent at all. All my Pokemon are very low amounts of HP. Zard Y would have been taken out by Shadow Claw. The same with Venusaur, and same with Scrafty, so. Uh, Source Dancing right there is probably the absolute worst play my opponent could have done, but it does make the battle easier for me, so I'm not going to be complaining. Like, comment, subscribe, Kara Kara Studio, and um, I'll be on Twitch like all weekend playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z and Monster Hunter World. So if you guys want to hop into the Twitch, uh, just join the Discord again, and I'll let you know when I'm going live. So, see you guys later.